doors are latched. Time noted. It is 9.59. Let's start a timer. And runway sign, 3-0. Compass DG lineup. All right, let's let people know we're leaving. All right, mixture full rich. Fuel pump is on. Landing light is on. We are on the left tank. Coming around to 3-0. 3-0 on the DG, 3-0 on the compass, 3-0 on the runway, feet on the floor, and we go full power. Airspeed's alive. And we can rotate. are in the green. Fuel pressure is good. Positive rates. And Raymond traffic 4447 echoes up off runway 30 departing to the west. Last call, Raymond. Jackson departure Tomahawk 4447 echo. Tomahawk 4447 echo Jackson departure. See if I can set up a flight following to Mike Lima uniform. We are a Papa Alpha 38, and we'll be going at 3,500. Number 47 Echo Squawk 1644, I don't say Colonel Alright, 1644, we identified we are at uh, 3,500 now. Four seven echo radar contact five miles west of Raymond Airport. The Jackson altimeter three zero five nine. Five nine for four seven echo. Hey everybody, Future Todd here talking about the uh, flight today. So this is my third Pilots and Paws flight. I'm going to pick up Icy over in Monroe, Louisiana. Previously I've flown, uh, this is Buddy, uh, the Bulldog, and uh, the other dog that I've flown is Snow. Each one of them I picked up in Monroe, Louisiana. All of them had come out of Houston. And uh, you can see the, uh, the dog card back there that I got from another pilot. Um, and most of them had gone up to the Memphis area, but it's so frozen kind of in the Mid-South area, just up north of where we are in Jackson, that uh, there really aren't GA airports open in Memphis. So this flight is planned for Jonesboro, Arkansas. So I'm picking up um, Icy, uh, the aptly named Icy over in Monroe, and then we'll pick, we'll uh, take them up to Jonesboro. We'll check that out. Airline 56 Quebec, Delta, Golf, Echo, hold short of runway 4 at Echo. Delta, Golf, Echo, hold short of runway 4 at Echo. 56 Quebec. 1040, 9 Alright, straight down the runway. 700 feet. Still doing 90 knots. A little high. Now we're on glide slope, but fast. Pull that back.
We are uh, listening to Monroe Approach, which is always noisy, on COM2 because COM1 won't work. They've been complaining about my transponder. Life with avionics, nothing like it. But we are in the plane. We've got Icy with us, and uh, we're sitting here around uh, 3,700 feet, trying to get down to 3,500 feet. Serious headwind. We're going about 87 over the ground, and uh, the plane just keeps wanting to nose up. I guess because of this headwind. So the flight from Monroe up to Jonesboro was kind of a long one. We had a headwind the whole way. I stayed low, around 3,500 feet. Um, you can see how frozen the, the land is up there. I was really kind of surprised to see the, the Mid-South like this, kind of, uh, you know, parallel with Memphis. Uh, just that cold uh, in Arkansas and up in the Delta there. Now we get to Jonesboro and figure out that the pilot who's going to meet me to pick up IC... Um, couldn't get her plane started. So I actually then leave Jonesboro and head out on this third leg. This is now the third leg. We are going to uh, Uniform Charlie Yankee, which I can't even remember what the name of that airport is. Everett Stewart Regional Airport. We had flown to Jonesboro, but the person who was going to meet me in Jonesboro couldn't get their plane started on this cold just uh, January day. December, <laughs> this cold January day. And so, I'm now flying to meet another pilot who's coming out of Indianapolis, and I think it's something faster than mine, but still wanted to kind of cut it off here. We're going to do an hour flying to the east, to kind of a little bit northeast, and then uh, we'll have a two-hour something ride back to Jackson. But if we can uh, cut it off a little bit, then it won't be too much after dark for uh, the flight back. Again, this is pretty uneventful. Um, I'm flying directly into that headwind now. It was actually coming out of the northeast like that. So getting up to this airport uh, took, again, a little while. It was pretty slow over the ground. You can see now I'm arriving at it with these uh, solar panels and everything. And then uh, meet the next pilot and hand IC off. Union City traffic, Archer 4984, Romeo is just north of the field. Joining the left downwind, runway 01, Union City. Not too bad. A little bit of snow and ice on the runway. Very attractive. Icy on to the next pilot. I was able to leave Union City about 5.30, got to Memphis around 6 here. It was getting pretty dark, flew in the dark, but I did have tailwinds. I'd had that headwind all day, so the tailwind made it possible for me to go 120, 125 knots over the ground. That's 140 plus miles per hour, about twice what I could drive it. So I got back to the Jackson area cold, but pretty quickly. Starlight, 80 knots, nice glide slope. Like crosswind. Come down the runway and look all the way down it. 25 knots. Runway is made. Power. Fire down to the runway.
that's the trip. It was about seven hours of flying. Probably never got over about negative 10 degrees Celsius, but we got the dog where he needed to go. Like, subscribe, and we'll get you in line for the next one of these. Thanks for coming along for the ride.